Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick White. I do a lot of tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. If you're interested in anything about me, just check the description. I have everything there. Uh, I'm doing all of the Lee Code problems, all 1,000 that are up right now. So I have about 50 on a playlist uh, on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check those, I explain each and every individual problem. And uh, we're getting into even harder problems here. So right now we're doing sum of left leaves. Okay, this one's easy though. This one's called sum of left leaves. Uh, find the sum of all left leaves in a given binary tree. Well, what is a leaf? So a leaf in a binary tree is a what is a child that has no left or it's a node that has no left or right child node. So we see that a left leaf is going to be a left node. It's a left node, the left, uh, and it's going to have no children nodes, right? So nine and fifteen are the only two left nodes with no children nodes here. So how are we going to do this? Well, we can do iteratively, or we can do like a DFS recursive solution. We'll do the DFS recursive solution first. So uh, first of all, if root is null, then the sum of all the left leaves, this is 9 and 15, so it would be 24 in this case. Um, the sum is going to be 0 if the root's null, because we have no tree to traverse, and there's obviously no left leaves. Uh, otherwise, we can declare our initial sum. So sum of left leaves will be set to 0. And then what we're going to want to do is, if I'll explain this in a second, if no dot left is not equal to null, then we'll do if no dot left dot left is equal to null, and no dot left dot right is equal to null, then we will increment our um, counter or sum. Sorry, sum of left leaves will plus equal no dot left dot val. So wh why are we doing this? Well. Um, if the no dot left is not equal to null, so we start with our root at 3. So if left is not equal to null, then we see 9. Then we have a left node. That's one of the conditions we need. Now we need to check if that, if that node has no children. So we do. If no dot left dot left equals null, and it is, and no dot left dot right is equal to null, so no dot left dot right is nothing too. So if it's a left child with no children, then we can add it to our sum, because that's the whole point. That's what we need in our sum. Um, otherwise, there's still going to be left nodes that have children. So in this else case, we have a left node that has children. We're still going to want to recurse on those children because later along the lines, we could uh, traver keep traversing down these children nodes and eventually maybe find another left uh, leave node. So all we have to do to recurse is add the to the ongoing sum a recursive call of sum of left leaves on root dot left. Okay, actually, yeah, we've been using root this whole time, so I accidentally put the word node, so just make sure you don't do what I'm doing. Make sure you don't stink. Sorry for being loud, I'm in a library. Um, so yeah, just keep, keep that in mind. Now, what about the right nodes? Well, if we find a right node that has children, then we're gonna wanna keep traversing on that. If we find a right node with no children, we don't wanna keep traversing, because that's the end of the road for that one. So let's just account for that. If no dot right is not equal to null, so if we see a right node, and then our condition this time is a little bit different. If no dot right dot left is not equal null, because we want children now, or no dot right dot right is not equal to null, then we'll keep traversing. Because if it has children, if it has children, we can keep going and we might find more left nodes. So we just add this to our ongoing sum as well. Sum of left leaves plus equals sum of left leaves on uh, root dot right. I keep, dude, I even said that I shouldn't use node, uh, and I kept using node, sorry. Um, and then we just return our sum, so sum of left leaves. Sorry, this is a little bit of a sketchy, I have a lot of talking around me and distraction, so it's kind of a sketchy uh, ending. Error, not a statement, zero, and sum of leaves equals zero. Uh, return zero, sorry. If the root is null, we return zero, because zero would be the sum of the left leaves. Um, what is this? Line 22, semicolon. This is a really bad tutorial, sorry. Okay, there we go. That's a success. Hopefully you guys understand why we have to do that. Now let's do the iterative solution. Uh, we're still going to return zero as our sum, if, um, and we'll keep our initial sum set up here. We're still going to return 0 as our sum if the root is null because we have no tree to recurse on. Then we have our initial sum, and then what we need is a stack of tree nodes, like every iterative tree solution. Because um, basically what happens is, in recursion, you use stack space when you're calling, doing recursive calls. But in an iterative solution, we need an actual physical stack. So we have a stack of tree nodes equals new stack. 
we'll add our root to the stack immediately. So stack.add root. And then just like all these other problems, while the stack is not empty, we'll pop a node off. This is when I was using node. Uh, equals stack out. That's how I got confused last time. Uh, and then all we have to do is these same things. So if node.left is not equal to null, just like we did in the recursive call, if node.left.left uh, is equal to null, and node.left.right is equal to null, then we add that to our sum. Sum of left leaves plus equals node.left.val. Um, otherwise, we want to tr keep traversing. So instead of a recursive call this time, we're just going to do stack.add node.left. We keep traversing if it has children. And then the same thing for the right node as last time. So if node.right is not equal to null, um, if node.right.left is not equal to null, or node.right.right is not equal to null. So if the right node has children, we're going to just keep traversing on it. Stack.add, node.right. Adding to the stack helps us traverse because we're popping a node off each time and traversing on all the children. And then after the whole loop, we've at, incremented our sum with all the left node values. And then all we have to do is return sum of left leaves. And there we go. That's the answer. Hopefully it works first try. Uh, it does. We didn't have any syntax errors this time, and that was the iterative solution. Hopefully you guys understood how that works. We basically just traverse on... All nodes that have children, we keep traversing, we traverse the whole tree. In any left node that we see with no children, we add it to an ongoing sum. It's pretty straightforward for some of left leaves. Uh, look at the solution, practice, and please check out my other ones. Sorry for the shaky explanation, a lot going on around me. And sorry for the noise. There's a ton of people uh, around right now. So uh, I got all these other videos, so please go check those out. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, please let me know in the comments what I can do better. See you guys.